get peace with freedom. Uh, I mean, a slave demanding peace, you know. A slave demanding I peace, know you know. No Once you get freedom, you got I it. I am no slave. Well, I know you can say that, my brother. I am no slave. I know you can say that. I will you're, tell you're, you're, the white you. man. I will tell the white man in the law. Telling him that doesn't in the law. I am no slave. I am now, if you, you go them. into the books, yeah. if you go into the books for the system, the system will tell you that you are the a slave, that you are in You listen to the system. I don't want to listen to the system. The system will break you down. According to law. The system will break you down. The system peace. You said that there can be no peace if there's no freedom. You see, and then and we say freedom first, freedom first, then peace will come. And people who are demanding peace in the streets of Ferguson today, but they're not seeing, they're not seeing reparations to Michael Brown's family. They're not seeing uh, uh, the prosecute the cop that killed Michael Brown. Uh, they're not saying free all the people who were arrested during the uprisings that happened here. They're not saying economic development for this community. So how are you going to have peace? If you're going to leave people still in a situation of starvation and police persecution, you can't have peace or you shouldn't have peace. There should be no peace as long as our communities are being patrolled as they are, as long as every 26 hours in this country one black man is being killed, every 26 hours, and it shouldn't be peace. So we need to have freedom. We get freedom, then peace can come. But to call, to call for peace in the absence of freedom is folly. And, and uh, it, what, it, what that calls for, to call for peace in the absence of freedom, is calling for slavery. It's calling for to oppressed people to voluntarily accept slavery. We can't do that. So we say, we say freedom first, then peace will come. So what do we mean? Uh, we can't allow them to say to us about the violent ones, all the people who bring violence. The people who bring violence are the one who killed Michael Brown. And then all of those others who came into our community. That's the violence. They say with well, the outsiders. Who are the outsiders? Ferguson got a police department of 53 people. But look at all of the cops that came in for everywhere. They got more, they got almost more FBI agents in this city right now than they do, than almost as many as they have police. So that's where the outsiders are. That's where the violence is. This is my community. I, don't, I wasn't born here. This is my community because my people are here. And the same thing happening to us here is happening to us all over the world. And that's the thing that I'm talking about. And that's the thing that we have to be conscious of we cannot allow them to treat Ferguson as if it's peculiar, as if this only happens in Ferguson when it's happening to black people all over this country and around the world. And the, the sooner we get aware of that, then the harder it is for them to come up with phony kinds of things to try to pacify us as opposed to solving real problems that we are confronted with.